Hello everybody and welcome to Cobra Park Farm 2017. Really looking forward to this series. Obviously uh, I've done a lot of Cobra Park Farm before on Farming Simulator 15, but it has returned to 17. I have been a bit late with this series, it's been out for a little while, so hopefully I haven't missed too much of the fun. Anyway, let us begin episode number one of our brand new series. Here we are, in the main yard, the starting position. And straight away, it does look different. I don't know what it is. Something is different. Is it the trees? Not sure. But anyway, this is by Bullet Bill 83 a fantastic mapper and modder. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out his YouTube channel. Just type in Bullet Bill 83 and you should find him. Anyway, what we're going to do is, well, basically, I'm going to explain how this is going to work. Uh, it's going to be, to start off with at least, fairly mod free, just like the Goldcrest Valley map. Uh, I basically started off with everything which was standard, all the base game machinery, and then nearer the end I added a few mods. I think the same thing is going to apply here. Um, but we're just going to quickly run around the yard and just see what we have. This is different. That's definitely different. There used to be a grain store. And now it's a, a fairly well accessible uh, machinery store. Yeah, that is the thing about this yard. It's very narrow. <laughs> but I like that. That is so nice. And it's true to life as well. This is a real farm. And it's just been so well produced to make it look just like the real thing. We're going to look at the minimap. And I think the map itself is very similar with some changes in the details. For example, the barn in the yard. Uh, the minimap has changed slightly. It's a more metallic background. Obviously, it says... Cobra Park Farm 17 now instead of 15 and Bullet Bill's logo is down in the bottom right hand corner and the key is there too which is going to be very helpful it'll help me jog my memory but I'm actually okay at this map we have played so much on it that I can't really forget it okay so this is the combine harvest which we start off with the Case International in FS15 it was the New Holland TC590 so a very similar machine but I would say this one is older I think it is yeah, I think the TC590 was actually new, just small, but this is actually old. Next we have got, oh lovely, Massey Ferguson. This is Massey Ferguson's 5610, I think. Yes, it's a 5610, with a front loader, very fitting. I wonder if Bullet Bill is going to bring his front loader, his Massey Ferguson front loader from FS15 to 17. That'd be so good. I think only time will tell. Anyway, this is... Which yard is this? Wow, things have changed. Where are we? Where are we here? This is Chantry Farm. It looks totally different. Ah, yes. Yes, yeah, so we came in here. This is the way in. And yeah, the tree always used to be here, but it's expanded. There is much more space, which is very nice. This is the silage pit just here. I think that shed is in the same place. It's just it's been expanded. It's got a, a lean-to as well with a new shed around the back. So there is plenty more space than what there used to be. This is for manure and everything. Meadow for the cows, which used to be here. I should think one thing to do with this is having to replace some of the FS15 mods with the standard design of FS17, because some of the things which were produced for FS15 aren't in 17 yet. For example, the pig and beef mod. I don't think that is in. Obviously we have pigs anyway as standard. Now I guess this is for the sheep. But yeah, it's, it's looking very nice. Much more space than what there used to be. Next we have got the Deutzfar Agro Star 661. And this is situated in the main yard. Just next to this field here, which is our grass field. But now it's got some tracks leading to the other fields. Before it was just one solid grassy field. I think that's quite nice because you do wear a track through from continually driving to each field especially in the winter when it's very muddy so that's very nice. We then have what do we have? The pickup. A red pickup. Now I'm not totally keen on this thing for the English maps but in its own way it is nice and it's obviously good that we have a, a vehicle to start off with as well as just tractors and a harvester we then have a New Holland 8340. So yeah, I think we really do start off with enough equipment here. And it's nice to have the case back as well. 
So we won't be rushing into spending too much money on the vehicles. Because, um, yeah, we, we do start off with the, the bare necessities. We have everything we need. Although, I'm probably saying that quite loosely because we're not going to have stuff like a feed mixer, I wouldn't have thought. Let's just check the garage and we'll see. We have a trailer, cultivator, plow, cedars, mower, a baler, and yeah, yes, it is just the basics. But we have four tractors to start off with. That is very generous. And two of them are pretty expensive. I still haven't got over the price of the 1455. It just seems so ex expensive. Like, new, I think, is 110,000, which just seems strangely expensive. Anyway, we are going to begin today. Which fields do we own? Oh, we start off with the massive field, field number nine, and field number two, and seven. In fact, yeah, we start off with a lot of stuff. Although, they could well be grass fields. We will check. Oh no, they're not grass fields at all. The minimap was being very deceptive. We have got wheat, uh, barley, I think. Yeah, because they changed the color of the canola to like a, a lime green color. We have wheat, barley, canola, and obviously grass. Um, but I think, yeah, that is as far as we spread. Oh no, we do have corn as well, for number four. Totally overlooked it. But we don't own for number five, which is quite a nice field. So we've got plenty to work towards, as usual. This is obviously a, a very packed map. There is so much to do, and there are tons of fields. Uh, this is actually the um, farm which we did the agroforestry on. Which was fun. We might do it again. Now we've got the GPS. Keeps some perfectly straight lines. That was done in field number... Things have changed. Field number 15. That's where I did agroforestry. That was great fun. That was a long time ago. But we'll have to do it again at some point. Not necessarily in the same field. Anyway, Master Ferguson, we need you. Let's go over to the Master Ferguson. And we will decide which job we're going to do first of all. Oh yes, also, I'm guessing we have no animals, so that would make sense. Yeah, totally bare. So we've got a lot to do, including plant withering, which is off already. That's good. Nice to see. These need to be off because it can cost us money when it doesn't need to. We fill them up anyway. We fill the seed up. So we've already paid for it. We wouldn't pay for it twice. Dirt is on normal, we'll probably put it on slow. And everything else is okay. Let's just put this to Cobra Park Farm. Make it easy. Fantastic. So we are ready to farm. One more thing. I have just overlooked one of the settings. It needs to be off for automatic start. Without a doubt. Okay. Better calm down. A bit too excited on the pedals there. Oh, we also have a pallet fork. Which we might as well take. I don't know if we're going to need it yet, but we'll put it in a different place. The best place for them, really, is where the sheep are. Where the wool pallets spawn. Because, obviously, we need to pick up the pallets. And I don't know where that is just yet. Hmm. Well, it won't be too far. That's the sheep field just there, I believe. At least it used to be. Yes, it is. Uh, so they're going to be fairly close. I don't know where yet. Let's just put this down. And we will check the status of each field. Just to see if they are ready to harvest or whatever. Let us see. Yeah, they're mostly growing. In fact, yes, all of ours are growing. None of them are ready. So it looks like what we might have to do is a bit of mowing, possibly in field number 23, which is very close to us. We do have a mower just behind us. And actually, we don't need the front loader for this job. It was just tempting to attach it. We can still do the job with it attached. Right, it's quite heavy. Should level off, though, as it lifts up. Yeah, that's fine. We can keep the front loader attached. Right, so field number 23, I think, is going to be the best field. Let's just see. 
Yeah, because obviously it has to be one we own. 23 seems like a, a reasonable size. Plus, we do need to get some grass straight away anyway, because it's going to be feed. The sheep require the grass, I think it's their, their raw feed. And the cows do need it as hay. So there's never any harm in doing a bit of mowing. I think the turning is very close. Yep, here it is. It doesn't take long to get to. Looks like a reasonable field. Be extra careful here because we need to get as much as possible. But with crop destruction, if we run on the grass, we're obviously destroying it, which we don't want. Oh dear, I am driving in a tree. That's the thing, there is a fine line between getting as much as possible and damaging the tractor on a branch. But that seems to be working okay. Nice field. It's such a woodlandy map, so many trees about in Herefordshire. Must be a nice place to visit. I've never actually been to Hereford or Herefordshire, so I can't really relate to it too much, but I've obviously seen it on pictures and in television programs and stuff. So uh, yeah, it does look very similar to this, I believe. And obviously Bullet Bill, who lives there, is going to know more than anybody what this farm is like. Oops, I've left the gate open. At least this time we won't be destroying any of the grass. Just go over where we've been, and it should work out to be perfect. We shouldn't be missing anything. Yeah, look at that. I've not really decided yet what we're going to do with this grass. It could just be baled up as it is and then wrapped. It could be obviously spread out and then road up again for hay or we could just pick it up as it is as grass for feed for the sheep or it could be a bit of everything but it's not a very big feel for that so we'll have to uh, well just do like three bales for each different type which would be a bit weird so yes I think the whole field would just be hay or just be silage I will get the bit at the gate but we'll have to get we'll have to shut the gate before we can do it. That doesn't take a genius to work out. <laughs> Otherwise we'll be crashing into the gate. Anyway, yes, let's just keep going round in circles until we're dizzy. I should say until the job is done. One thing I've always complimented Bullet Bill on is the lighting. I don't know if it's adjusted, but for some reason, all of his maps, or mostly Cobb Park Farm actually, um, they are the lighting just seems more realistic somehow I've said this before I don't know what it is but it seems different it could just be me but it does seem different Right, so we're getting very close to the end. We've almost finished, just trying to keep it as neat as possible. The last thing I wanted is to make a big mess of this, but I suppose if it's going to be tedded, then it won't really matter, because it throws it everywhere anyway. But, actually, yeah, looking at it, it might have to be rowed up. It's not terrible, but if we're just going to bail it straight away, it might be quite, well, very easy to miss bits. So, just got to keep turning around and then we will fold it up, take it back to the yard and try and find another job to do. It would be very nice to have some animals. I suppose we could get some sheep. We've got £25,000. 
and sheep don't really require too much except for water and feed. Um, they don't need straw. So, I suppose, yeah, the sheep should be the starting off animal, as they're the easiest, in a way. The wool is also worth a lot of money. Amazingly, I've never sold a wool pilot on FS17. They take so long to fill up. In 15, they used to be coming out your ears. But yeah, on 17, it takes a long time for them to fill. Probably because they're worth so much. Each pilot is worth a fortune. Anyway, that's this bit done, and it's the bit over near the gate. So we'll tidy this up over here. I did shut the gate. And there we go with the exception of this tiny bit. There we go. <laughs> we have finished. Didn't take too long. Very easy. And yeah, it could look worse, I suppose. Oh, there's a bit of a road closure up there. So I'll let you decide. Well, you, I'll let you give me some suggestions on what to do with that, which will be on Monday. And of course, we will shut the gate. Okay. Actually, I, pr I probably should have uh, gone on the other side of the road. So used to Goldcrest Valley. It's a bad habit to get into if you're living in the UK. Thing is though, when you're driving in real life, you don't automatically think, oh, let's drive on the right-hand side in the UK. It's just something I do in the game, because that would be pretty scary, I have to admit. Lucky that doesn't happen. Right, so where should we put this? Where we got it from? Seems to be a sensible place. It takes up quite a bit of space anyway, just because it has to unfold to be able to take it off. Otherwise it would tip over backwards. So as long as it's got the space to unfold, we'll be okay. Fantastic. Right, what job shall we do? There isn't a great deal to do. Ah, oh, we could do some fertilising while the fields are still growing. Field number four. Yeah, I would say field number four because it's not very big and is the least established. That would be quite a good one to go for. So what is it? It is corn. Okay, well, we might as well do it if we've got any form of fertilising equipment. I don't know if we do. Oh, we do. We have got the Cavernland Exacta EL700. So we will locate it and we will use it. Locating it could be the issue. And actually, this tractor should stay here. Very good for a livestock farm. We'll jump into. Actually, let's just locate it first of all because we might be able to use the case. Let's keep clicking until we see it. There we go. Yes, the case is incredibly close to it somewhere around here probably in the courtyard in fact I've probably already looked at it I would guess that it's in here yep there it is and I see drill as well so yeah this isn't a very big spreader but it's not a very big field either so a fairly good setup. I'm just looking for the fertilizer and the seed. There is a possibility that it has to be bought in pallets, which would explain why we started off with a tractor with a front loader and a pallet fork. I know the seed is here. So maybe it's just the fertilizer. It's good that the seed is there because it's very handy when using a big seeder. I doubt this is the fertiliser just here, and anyway, that's a liquid fertiliser tank. So, yes, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the Massey Ferguson anyway. We're going to have to get a pallet of fertiliser and then fill it up that way. So here we are back at Chantry Farm, doing a bit of teleporting today. Not something I like to do. I'll have to get into the habit of not doing this. So 
So off we go to the store. Ah, oh, is there fertiliser here? Is that fertiliser? It could be, but it's not solid fertiliser. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm sure if I haven't seen it, somebody will point it out to me. For today, we will buy a pallet. Brings back so many memories. I have done so many different episodes on this map and it never gets old. Well, obviously not this exact map. It's got some very nice changes. But Cobra Park Farm 15. Done a lot of episodes. But to be honest, I don't think it could get old. It can't get old. And there's not many maps I can say that about. This could be brought back for the next farming simulator, whatever it may be. Probably FS19. And it still wouldn't be old. It's just going to be one of those totally timeless maps. It's fantastic. I'm guessing the store is in the same place. I think I did see it on the minimap. Yep. So that is where we're heading to. Just the one pallet today. But if it turns out that we don't have any a major storing place for the fertilizer. We'll bring a trailer and we'll load up an entire trailer load and then fill a barn. There is actually a placeable for this but I don't think we should really be doing stuff like that. I prefer to be more active about it and get them with the tractor. Here we go. So I won't drive in fully, just in case we get in the way of the spawning. But the one we need is the solid fertilizer big bag, which is this one just here. We'll buy that, just the one, and we'll take it over to our fertilizer spreader. So if you do want to download this map, you can do. Like I said at the beginning, I am actually behind everybody else here. I wanted to play it a long time ago, but we had to finish off Goldcrest Valley. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been time to do every single map. But we're here now, and yes, absolutely loving it. I knew I would do. It was just so obvious. It was going to be a good map. There it is. Now, we've got to go quite steady. We don't want it to come flying off the forks. That should be okay, this speed. This is a great view looking this way. You can see the farmhouse at the top and the beautiful yellow field. I don't know if it's sunflowers or oilseed rape. It could be either. I think it is oilseed rape though because that is our field and we don't own sunflowers. Excel point there. This is the very beautiful track up to the yard. One of three yards. There are three yards. There's Yatton Ridge Farm, Chantry Farm, and obviously Cobra Farm itself. Yeah, Yatton Ridge is still there. A place we shall visit very soon. I think it is actually for the pigs. So when we get the pigs, we'll be able to do quite a bit of work there. Here we go. We have your fertilizer. I don't know if it's possible to load it up a more realistic way. We'll have to try it. You'd usually use the big bag, but this is in like a crate. Now it's got the uh, chute underneath, so hopefully it will work. Fantastic. And we'll just put it into storage temporarily. I 
Let's go and do some fertilizing. If I remember the field number, field number four. That's that one just over there. It is a small field, so this really isn't going to take too long. This one here. Right. Uh, crop destruction could destroy this field. It could actually get rid of the whole thing. <laughs> That's not a very good thing to say. Um, let's just see how destructive it's going to be. Yes, I did worry. We need row crop tyres. This is a bad tractor for it. Remind me in the future never to do anything without row crop tyres. Providing it's a fertilising job we're doing. And I hope after all that, that's actually made a difference. Let's just see. Oh, I'm not. Maybe it has to be ploughed first. I could be wasting my time here, but oh well. It's still fun. Once we've harvested all these fields and ploughed them, the whole system will work a lot better. The soil composition system. I still think it looks fun to have tram lines in a field, and it makes it easier when harvesting. What's that? It's like a walkway through that field there. We're going to have to take a stroll. Right, so the job is done, whether it needs to be or not. Let's take a walk through the middle of our oilseed rape field. We can guess the time of year just by looking at the crops. It must be about May or June, April, May, June, that time. Where does this go to? It must be like a public walkway to the road. Ah, oh, look at this, over a stile. Just jumped it like a horse. Yeah, and then we're back onto the country road to Yatton Ridge Farm. Very pretty. I love this. Um, there's going to be, hopefully, some more memorable moments produced on this map. We'll take this back to the main yard and think about what mess I have caused. I'll know in future to only fertilise if I need to. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed episode number one. I certainly have enjoyed recording it just because it's such a good map. The map makes a huge difference to a Let's Play. And yeah, until next time, thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.